Hi, but now we're holding in the seventh parak of Nadarim, uh, and we are sponsored by the Fisher family, Linish Mespasi Bas Rabbit Shlama, Ben Avramalevi, Perel Bas Ruvain. We're also learning Linish Mas Matsio, um, Elio, Eli, El Khanum Bunim Ben Naftali Benish, Elimel Ben Eliezer, the Fushalem of Elio Meshme Chaisar, for the Schus of Abram Binyam Benish Ben Malki Hudis, for Mayor Ben Chaisar, and by Yo Kugman and family. Um, also, Rabbi say we do need some more people to sign up for the second minion. Uh, both Chaim, could you download the second minion? Good, thank you. Uh, did you say no? <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Uh, huh? Uh, um, okay, we we need some more people to sign up for the second minion. Uh, so, uh, uh, well. We'll work on that later, the clone department. But, uh, but anyway, um, whoever, whoever might be for the second, for the Zman Minion, please sign up. Um, we are holding uh, by by Mishnah Zion and Mishnah Ches. Ha'imer li'ishtai, if a person says to his wife, Kaine maisi yodayich alai. He doesn't want her working. He doesn't want her working. He says, you're not home for the kids. So, he says he vows that he's not going to benefit from her handiwork. They are forbidden to my mouth. To my mouth. So, in such a case, he's putting an isra on He's making it like hektish. And therefore, if let's say she makes a, a, a wool, then if he sells the wool, if, if the wool is sold and gets money in exchange, he's also with the money too, will be gedulayim. And if she made uh, fruit and it was planted, he's also what grows from it. If he says, she'eni oichel, she'eni toyim, I just won't eat it, I won't taste it, then he's not making it like hektish, then mutta b'chilufein will be gedulayim, then he's allowed to have their exchange and what grows from them, b'dover she'zaroi kola. But that's only if the food, when planted, disintegrates in the ground. But if the original bulb stays, even in the next generation, and even in the third generation, then even the third generation will be usher because it has from the original thing that he asked. Mishnah Ches is a very logical Mishnah. I mean, they're all logical, but this is eminently easy to understand. She'at oisa eni oichel ara Pesach. That which you make, I won't eat until Pesach. Or she'at oisa, that which you sow, eni miskasa ara Pesach. I won't wear until Pesach. So oisa lefnea Pesach. She made the food or she uh, sewed the garment. Uh, he could eat it, he could wear it after Pesach, because he just said, I won't wear it until Pesach. That which you make until Pesach, I won't eat it at all. That which you make before Pesach, I'm not going to wear. So if she makes it before Pesach and he freezes it, she can't have it for Shavuos. Because he says, that which you make before Pesach, I'm not going to eat. That means I'm not going to eat at all, right? And therefore, what? And if she made, if she sewed something before Pesach, he can't wear it in the summer. Also, if Pesach, if if she made it before Pesach, also lechol l'skasos, he's not allowed to eat it. He's not allowed to wear it, even after Pesach, even even after Pesach, because he said he's not going to do it at all. He's not going to wear it at all. So then he can't wear it at all. Um, again. Daf uh, Yomi will be at a quarter to eight. The Chok will be to follow. Uh, please, again, we we will have two minyanim. Uh, it just uh, the question is if I'm going to have to go around and beg. So, uh, it, but if yeah, that's what, that's all it means. But uh, if you if you're available to Dam Bizman, if you have such a Havamina, please sign and make it a maskana.